Uh, as a new MP, your first vote was to vote against uh, Boris Johnson's withdrawal bill. No surprises there, but uh, do you feel a frustration that because of his majority, it's going to be much more difficult in this new parliament to make the sort of impact that you want to? Um, well, of course, it will be more difficult to do so, but we can do that. Um, we're a small group of 11 MPs, but Liberal Democrats have led cross-party efforts over the last few years initially to stop Brexit, and we will continue to lead cross-party efforts to oppose Brexit. There are millions of people in this country who want Britain to remain an open, internationalist, inclusive country, and we will continue to fight for those values. Well, in the last few years, we have seen examples where um, when opposition parties have worked together, they have created enormous amounts of public pressure that have actually resulted in the government capitulating. That happened a number of times in the last couple of years when um, cross-party groups were tabling amendments and the government accepted them um, you know, ahead of time without pushing them to a vote. So I believe that if, uh, if enough of us who um, want an open internationalist country can work together, then I do think we can put sufficient pressure on the government to make them capitulate on some of the key important issues. To, so to someone watching this who perhaps voted for the Conservatives for the first time, perhaps was a Labour voter previously, you know, what would you say to convince them that actually it's okay to take a pause, to scrutinize, to perhaps question what the government is doing right now if their vote was based on, you know, Boris Johnson's slogan of getting Brexit done. It's absolutely vital and absolutely central to our parliamentary democracy that we have strong opposition parties that scrutinise the government. That is a key part of our parliamentary democracy in the UK and it's a role that the Liberal Democrats are prepared to perform. Okay, Daisy Cooper MP, thank you very much.